Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Tutorial. Here you have Unit 8, Electric Charge and Electric Forces. This section is 8.A, Conservation of Electric Charge. Here's the scenario. Part A asks us to sketch a sample distribution that represents a neutral sphere. Uh, a neutral sphere has both positive and negative charges. So the positives here are going to represent the positive charge, 3, 4, five six seven eight they're equally distributed and i'm going to have an equal amount of negative charges two four six eight positive charges so one two three four five six seven eight negative charges here this represents a neutral sphere now a positive charge rod is now brought near but not touching the sphere how does it change the distribution let's take a look at the notes like charges will repel one another unlike charges will attract a you see two negative repel two positives will repel it will be attract if it's a positive and negative so the rod's going to re reorient it itself the rod is positive so the sphere charges are going to start moving normally it was like this where the charges were evenly distributed over but now all the negative charges are going to be closer right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so those eight negative charges are going to move to the left. In turn, the eight positive charges, two, three, are going to move to the right. The reason why is that these are going to be attract towards each other. If you take a look at part d where i'm going to go over this notice that the positive charges will repel and the negative charges will attract so if you would like to see how the force will look like from the electric field it will look something like this all right Okay, the negative charges are attractive to the positive charges. In turn, the positive charges here will repel from the positive rod. Part C, you're going to make a claim about the direction of the force exerted on the sphere by the rod. Right? What I have here is the notes. You're going to use the magnitude in Coulomb's law to find the force direction of the sign. So, the charge on the rod was positive the electron was negative so notice that the force of the electric field points towards the proton exactly like how we draw the force field here so it's going to the left because it's going towards the positive rod and let's look at the explanation on why first as the positive charge rod moves towards the neutral charge sphere, the sphere charges will reorientate itself. The sphere's left side will be more negative because it is attracted to the positive rod than the right-hand side of the sphere. The right-hand side of the sphere will be more positive because the positive charge is repelling from the positive charge rod. Notice that the even though the charges move and reoriented are their self in terms of its location on the sphere the sphere at it as a system remains um, a zero net charge because no charges were add or removed that's why from the start i drew eight positive and eight negatives so in part b there was also still eight positives and eight negatives Notice that the charge separation on the sphere will cause there to be an electric force exerted on the sphere by the rod towards the left. Because again, the positive charge is attracting the negative charge on the sphere. Part D. Based on your explanation, what could you use as a similar experiment to provide evidence for the two charge model? If not, why and what evidence based on scientific principle would you need to collect to test the two charge model the two charge model can be simplified as there are two types of charges a positive charge which is like this one which repels 
there is a negative charge that attracts. If you put them um, next to each other, if you have two positive, two, one positive and one negative charge, notice that the negative charge will be attracted to the positive charge. But if you have the two light force charges, like a positive and a positive, notice that here the electric field repels each other. So if you, how can you prove that So we would actually say no, you cannot use similar experiment to provide evidence for the two charge model. The reason why is even if we change this scenario right here for this to be a, um, a negative rod, okay, even if we change that up, the same thing would happen. The left hand side will be um, more positive and the right hand side is going to be more negative and it will still be attracted to each other. The only way to prove otherwise is to use a repulsive force. That is the only way you could determine it. But here's the issue. To do that, you would need to discover a third type of charge that will repel both positive and negative charge here. So, this is everything that you need to know when it comes to the conservation of electrical forces and of the electrical charges for this scenario.